Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and welcome to today's video which is the first one of the holiday season. Happy November. I've got a Christmas haul for you. All of the new things that I have found in Kmart, Big W, we've got the reject shop, we've got Target. I've got a huge haul coming for you so if you enjoy make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because tomorrow's video is actually my clean and decorate with me video. So all of these items are going to be put out as well as all of the other Christmas stock that I've just collected over the years. We will also be doing a Vlogmas this year, so make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you receive all of the Christmas content coming at you. So yeah, instead of me just rambling on, we're gonna get straight into the video and everything is linked down in the description box below that I can find for you guys. So we'll start with everyone's favorite, which is Kmart, at least that's my favorite. So the first thing I picked up from Kmart was this. I am in love with it. It is definitely the style I was trying to go for this year. I do enjoy a very traditional Christmas color scheme as in like the reds, the greens, very like Hallmark Christmas, very American inspired. But this, just like the farmhouse style, I love that, it's beautiful. The next thing I grabbed from Kmart was these six Bushland Christmas stemless glasses. If you can't tell, I'm from Australia by my accent. So these are some Australian creatures here. We've got the pink galah, we've got a koala, we've got a wombat and a kangaroo. And if you can see that, they're all just Christmas themed. Honestly, they're a little bit bigger than I was expecting, which is great. There is definitely like a pastel theme going on. That's the trend this year, if you haven't seen. And I'm just not feeling it, to be honest with you. I can just tell I'll be really happy that I have these in like 10 years. Next thing I grabbed from Kmart was the Santa and Friends 3 tea towels set. I didn't grab these as soon as I saw them last year, like any of the tea towel sets from Kmart, and I regretted it because they went pretty much straight away. The first pattern is just Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, very traditional with reindeer. This one here, I will open up for you. How cute is that? Mrs. Claus cake of joy, a splash of laughter, spoonful of holly jolly, cracking jokes, dash of holiday essence, spread some love, whisk in some magic, and sprinkle holiday cheer. Then there's just the plain green one, which I'm not feeling, to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna add that to my cleaning kit. Cause as I said, I really like the traditional colors. And there's that one for you guys. These are really more just decorative tea towels. If you've ever actually tried to dry a dish with these, they suck, but they're cute. Next thing I picked up from Kmart, which I was actually really impressed with the price. It's a two pack of gold napkins. They've got like gold sparkles through them. If you can see that, what is it? Two gold metallic napkins, 43 by 43 centimeters. So I'll open that up for you guys. But a two pack was only $2. Yeah, oh, roll those up, get a little like napkin holder. Oh yeah, get like a little holder to go around there like that and have that on your table, $2. So I grabbed enough to set a set of six. <sighs> Australia sucks for Christmas marks, like we really do. So I picked up this one. I'm just like not into like the 3D type ones. I would prefer a normal Christmas mug and then something cute on it. So. This is by no means a Christmas piece at Kmart. It's just part of their regular stock, but my Christmas mug for this year. Every year I like to get a new snow globe. So this is the new one this year from Kmart. It was only $8, I believe. Yeah, they're really affordable. Can you tell how happy I am? This is another piece from Kmart that is not part of their Christmas stock. It's, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that word to be honest with you, but it's a placemat and I just thought it would be really good to do like a centerpiece. The last thing I got from Kmart was this very simple Santa wrapping paper. It was only a dollar, four meters for a dollar. So I'm pretty impressed with that. I actually grabbed five because a it was five dollars and b because this is actually going to be the wrapping paper that santa uses so we got enough for him to use for that i only grabbed a couple of things from target so i'll just quickly show you these now my christmas lights that i had around the house last year if you saw 
they got damaged. Well, at least the port did, and I just didn't want to risk using them. So I picked up some new lights this year. <clears throat> They're for indoor and outdoor use. We've got 250 LED fairy lights. I got the cool white with the white cable. So, yeah, I actually still have all of the clips up around my house from last year. And my last lights didn't come with this handy dandy little box. So, oh, it's actually cable tied, but yeah. And honestly, this next piece is probably my favorite thing besides the farm style like tray. It's a treasury of Christmas stories. We've got festive tales and songs, and it's exactly the size I was hoping it would be. I just thought this would be so nice to have on display, to be honest with you, but I love that I can read all of these stories myself and to the kids, and we can sing songs. This will be something that I could imagine the kids will be really happy to have in their house one day once I pass all of these items along to them. Next things we have are from Big W and this is actually a tree skirt if you can see it's huge and I'm so impressed because what was it? It was $20 and it just connects together like that. I have a tree skirt that's just kind of like a fabric one and I got it last a couple of years ago we were doing handprints for the kids on it and I love it it's so cute to have that memory I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie it's not aesthetically pleasing so I did want to pick up something that was a little bit more doilish this year if you guys follow me on Instagram you already would have seen my little mate my little gnome oh he's so cute again big W little plush gnome he's gonna be so cute and I can imagine will be one of favorite one of Sophie's favorite items to steal. So I picked up these lights. They're just some silver string lights. They're quite beautiful actually. Battery operated, cool white in silver. They've got 50 LED lights and it's 4.9 meters. So almost five meters for $5. But I got this because we were gonna do like a really small tree in Sophie's room that she could decorate herself, maybe leave mine alone. However, the tree got refunded to me because they didn't have it in stock. It was like a click and collect item, lockdown, all of that. So I got these for the tree that we didn't end up getting and Kmart don't have their tiny little trees in stock yet. So we're actually probably gonna end up leaving Sophie's little tree for this year, but I can always make use out of these or save them until next year, but I'm pretty sure I'll use them. I've got some ornate Christmas tinsel, three meters in white. I don't think I have any white tinsel whatsoever, but this was for Sophie's tree. It was gonna be like a little pink one for her and I thought the white would be nice. And it's got like details on it, little snowflakes. Um, again, I'm sure I'll find some use out of this. I just don't know for what yet. The last thing, yeah, the last thing I picked up from Big W was this one. It's just a regular stock item of theirs. It's just a tablecloth. I wanted it for our dining table and I didn't like any of the Christmas tablecloths I was coming across. There's some beautiful runners out this year, like table runners, especially in Kmart, but yeah, not a fan of the tablecloth selection. In fact, fun fact for you, if you go to Kmart and you go to the party section, they've even got some like really cheap, I'm talking $2 table runners there that are cute, like gold and silver ones that work really well for Christmas. Think outside of your box when it comes to Christmas items. They may have stuff that works for you that they have all year round, but this cute little one, it is for Sophie, but I'm probably gonna wear it for the clean and decorate with me. I have a tiny head apparently. This one was from the reject shop and it was only a couple of dollars, obviously, just something fun for Sophie. I also, for a couple of dollars, picked up a pack of candy canes. These are decorative more than everything. Jeez Louise, can you talk today, Ashley? These are more decorative pieces more than anything because we don't really like peppermint. I don't know if Sophie likes peppermint. I don't think I've given her peppermint yet. Another thing I grabbed from the reject shop was these 12 pack of bubbles. We've got the matte ones, the glitter ones, and then the shiny ones. They're really small, does it four centimeters in diameter. Yeah, $2.50. Bargain. I don't have any small ones, and to be honest with you, I'm probably gonna go pick up another pack because I don't think these are gonna be enough to cover our tree. For our Christmas presents this year, as in like the ones that we give the kids and each other, other family members, we're going to use brown 
plain brown paper this year because I just like that aesthetic because you can like really do it up with the top pieces, little present toppers and strings, bows. I like that you can get more creative with that. So I want to go plain this year. And then I really like how it goes with Santa's presents as well. That'll look cute on Christmas morning. Ah. The next thing I picked up was this cake tin. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of these now. We are always baking through the silly season, whether it be cookies or gingerbread houses, that sort of thing. So having one of these is always great just to chuck stuff in. Also, it was only a couple of, I think it was $3. So you can always, at the end of the season, when it's coming time to the actual Christmas day, you can put some goodies in here, wrap it up and give it to someone as a gift, like a neighbor or something like that. Cute, cheap, decorative idea right there for you, but it's also very practical. Guys, that's my haul for 2021. How exciting is that? All of these pieces are clearly going to be put out and display this year, as well as all of my other collective pieces I've gotten over the years. I think I've got like, I think I've got like four or five tubs about that big, you know, the storage tubs that every Tom, Dick and Harry has. So. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it really helps to support my channel and it lets me know that you guys enjoy these kinds of videos as well as subscribe because tomorrow is the clean and decorate with me. As I said, I will be sure to have everything linked down in the description box below that I possibly can and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful start to your November. Apologies if you guys are watching this and technically it's still the 31st of November for you wherever you are in the world because here in Australia... It is the 1st of November now. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite piece and if you guys are going to be going as all out as I did this year or if you're keeping it a lot more chill and just using the pieces you already have. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye! I'm going